up in the USA team again. Then SI ranks me 31 again. So just something I use more motivation. I already work hard, so I'm using that as more to want to prove myself even more. Just something I look at before games, before practice, they say. That's more, more another motivation to keep me going. How long have you been doing that? Basically my whole career. You know, I just look at certain things that people say I wasn't good at and what I couldn't do. He's a training fan. This is the healthiest month you guys have been since the beginning, right? Oh, last year was kind of, it was just a uh, Nene and Otto last year. Was out. No, but you didn't have Mecca? We have him. Remember that? He wasn't yeah. here at the beginning. When yeah. did we get Gortat? You didn't have, like, two days before the Yeah, you didn't have Singleton? Singleton, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't never, he wasn't never ready, though. He was out there, but, yeah, you're right. This is the healthiest. But, uh, it's just everybody coming in. I mean, we have great training staff that added some pieces and changed some things around. And not saying the guys before wasn't great, it's just, I think more guys are more dedicated to understanding that you have to come in and get workouts in and get your body ready before practice. Like we had everybody here by 9.30 today, and it didn't start till 11. So everybody's weightlifting, getting that workouts on the court, doing that core stuff to make sure they're prepared. And then uh, we had a great warm up today. This is the first time I think we warmed up since I've been here and been ready to go right away. We didn't need to go through like 4.15 or running drills to warm up. Yeah, I remember last season when Coach Wynn talked about you thought even going into some practices, you guys may have been allowing the act a little too much. Yeah, so you don't sense that's going to be the case? No, nah, I don't think so because we're focused in for 15 minutes right before practice and getting our warm-ups and stretches in. And that's big. I, I'm saying we didn't do that in the past. We would just do other stuff and you still would be stiff. So that's why practice would start so slow. Today we got right to it and got into our plays and what he wanted to do. When you guys actually got to work, does it feel different, a little bit more intense given expectations? I think the first guys? day is the most exciting day out of any day. Now the main key is you're gonna have that same enthusiasm the rest of the week. I mean, first days everybody excited to compete, be back on the court, be back to get ready for a season. Now is can you keep it going for the next four to five days? Is, uh, was it a lot of talking? Was it intense? Was it quiet? How, how kind it was of, everything. Everybody was yelling, talking, uh, just pushing. I mean, pushing everybody to get better. I mean, trash talking going on in the drills, and competing to see who can win and get stops. I mean, that's how it should be. Come on, man, you know my team. Blue team, man. <laughs> Any real difference on the floor now that Ariza is gone? Is there like a physical? No, it's not a feel? difference. You know what I mean? He was a great player for us. He did big things, and you can't take nothing away from what he did for us. You know I mean, you're wishing the best of luck where he is. But uh, you had a guy in there, it's Paul Pierce, that guy that can also shoot the ball, can put the ball on the floor and make plays for other people and get to the free throw line. Then you had guys like Chris Humphrey, DeJuan Blood, that know how to rebound and know how to make plays and shoot. He had in pieces to help our team, and I think we're a more complete team because you have guys that's in three positions. We have three players at each position. You mentioned that Sports Illustrated list that had your 31. Did you look at it and kind of gauge where you would put yourself on there? Nope. I just wanted to see where I was at. And I ain't paid no attention to it. You know what I mean? I just be on my Twitter and look at my mentions, and everybody's like, oh, I can't believe they put you 31. And I was like, number 31? That's commission points. Deion Wade. uses motivation. Deion Waiters uh, said that the idea of you and Bill being the best backcourt in the league is nonsense. You Why you think that? <laughs> they haven't seen the playoff game yet, so when they make one, they can start talking. <laughs> but if you're going to be the best backcourt, you have to start. You know I mean, this is the year he's probably starting. So let's see they're the best backcourt. You got to be a starting backcourt to tell you the best backcourt. Every year you've been able to add something to your game. You know, last year was the. Last year was a three-point shot. You know your defense has improved from your rookie year. What is there anything this summer that you're trying to add? And when do you, when do you implement that out here on the court? No, I don't show it right now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, floaters, posting up. I think uh, just uh, all those things I improved on is just being more committed, especially on the defense end. I always can play defense. I think anybody in this world can play defense. It's just you commit yourself to it. You know that's the one thing I want to be known as a two-way player. So I committed myself to that. And uh, like three-pointer, I'm still working on that to get better, mid-range, all those things. But I mean, having a coach and David Atkins and Howard Ozzie, those guys are helping me improve every day. Specifically, what on defense are you? Are you just uh, it's just me. Like I can guard. It's team just, concepts, individual. Team concepts. I'm great. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes you get lazy. You know what I mean? You, you you're not help side. You're not paying attention. You know what I mean? You gotta be a complete player. You gotta be able to do a one-on-one -on -one defense and help side with your teammate. And I think that's what's making us a, a good team is because when we couldn't score the ball, we was getting stops. Now we can score the ball and get stops. That's when you start to become a complete team.